Right, how you doing? It's Coach PJ on Sunday morning. I uh, got your bi-weekly. I want to go over it with you. I'm going to do this in kind of reverse and how I normally do it. Um, I like what's going on here because let, let's always go back to why you're doing this right now. Okay, it's to gain an, an appropriate, not excessive amount of weight through your pregnancy. Okay, to this point, you're basically up, uh, what, um, one and a half to two pounds since the end of January. This is a good, reasonable amount of weight gain for a healthy pregnancy. You're achieving that goal. Okay, the fact that you're quantifying anything and keeping tabs on it, even if it's not perfect, trust me, you're going to gain a lot, le a lot less weight, yet still an appropriate amount of weight. You should be gaining weight. Um, you're going to gain a lot less weight than most women who use pregnancy as an excuse to eat the house. Okay, that's, that's one of the big goals here. Okay, so you're achieving that. All right, so I just always re want to remind you of that. Now, on to compliance. Look, again, th th none of this is bad. You know, I, I, I always, I've said this to you before. You're pregnant. There's going to be days when you don't feel great and where a little more rest or taking a day off makes more sense than trying to get into the gym and, and push yourself and, you know, live up to these perceived expectations that, other people are putting on you or you think that I'm putting on you. I don't know that you think that at all because I continually reinforce that I think you're doing wonderful. Okay. Look, you got in 10 workouts in the last two weeks. That's awesome. Okay. That's awesome. That's over three a week. All right. Um, that's great. You're, you're pregnant and you're working out three times a week and you're prioritizing your fitness and health and staying strong and mobile throughout your pregnancy another goal is being achieved. Okay. Now, if you were a fat loss client, okay, which you will be once you deliver, I'd say this is too many missed workouts. I would say this nutrition compliance isn't good enough. Okay. But you're not a fat loss client. You are a client that has different goals and objectives. Okay. What you're doing is what's necessary and required to meet your specific unique set of goals given, given the situation. Okay, I'm giving you a solid B plus A all around. All right. You, this is all situation perspective, Laura. You aren't, this is not like you trying to get lean and, and lose a bunch of weight. It's actually the exact opposite. We're, we're just trying to minimize excessive weight gain, stay strong, healthy, and active and consistent throughout your pregnancy so you can have a pregnancy um, without um, undue exertion and you'll be able to bounce back fast and hit the ground running after your delivery. Okay, you are achieving these goals. As we've talked about, since you got the Fitbit, you, you see that you actually have been doing a very good job. Okay, I'm telling you right now, Laura, this right here, the overall activity outside the gym, this is better than probably 70% of my fat loss clients. All right. So onto your comments. Let me scroll up. Yeah, you're going to have food diversions. You're pregnant. Your appetite's going to change. It's going to pick up. Someday all your, some days all you're going to want is pickles. Some days all you're going to want is ice cream. Okay. You don't need to try to follow some strict meal plan template, you have one. If those foods are agreeing with you, you can use it. If it's not, you track calories and eat whatever, you know, whatever sounds palatable to you um, in, in, in sound portions. Okay. That's, that's all this is. Um, and I'm just going to look on my phone while I'm addressing nutrition. I'm looking at your nutrition IX log. Look, I, I think you've done a really good job. Uh, we had three days over. You had a couple days where you left calories on, on the table. And when I look at the, the sum total here, uh, I'm just looking at the last since the beginning of March. When I look at the sum total here, 
Um, this is about what I would expect, a very slight gain in scale weight, um, which is exactly what we're trying to do, right? <laughs> so again, you're, you're achieving the objectives of the program. Uh, and we've talked about your protein intake, but you know, Laura, at, uh, at 124 pounds, if you are anywhere from about 90, 95 to 120 grams of protein per day, you're doing great. Okay, it's a range. If you're about 0.8 to 1 grams per pound per day, you're, 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 and staying right around your calorie level, maybe some days it's a couple hundred calories over, some days it's, a, it's 100 calories or 50 calories under, you're doing great. So in looking at your protein log, for instance, yesterday, 96 gram of protein, that, that's good. That's the low end of where we want it to be, but still within range. Uh, Friday, too low. Um, but Thursday, you're at 105. Excellent. Wednesday, a little low, 75. Th Tuesday, a little low, 72. But, you know, Monday, you hit 100. That's good. That's within range. Last Sunday, 107. Really good. All right. If I go back to February, I don't know if it's going to allow me to do that. Yeah, so your protein intake, February, you were definitely low in protein, um, but it's improving, right? Last week was on average, you were hitting, you know, hitting your protein goals within a range, maybe a little low overall, but but certainly not bad. Um, so again, you're, you're, you're consistent, you're achieving the goals of what, we're, what we set out to do. You are not a fat loss client. You have different goals. And you're incrementally getting better in the areas that I'm pointing out. So I know you're probably getting some pressure at home. Um, but I'm the coach here. So you're going to have to filter out. I know that's hard to do what other people are telling you. All right. Um, you know, I, I don't know if that's coming from Dale. I'm assuming it is. And yet, yes, Dale is, is doing unbelievable on this program, but, but Dale has different goals, Laura. Okay. Dale has a different program, different goals that you can't, you can't compare what you're doing against Dale and vice versa. And, you know, have, have somebody pick at you for not doing what they're doing when they have a different program and different goals. All right. Um, so I'm the coach and I'm telling you, you're doing, you're doing great. So filter out the, the, the rest of the noise. All right. Um, so you're eating at this health food store, right? And no, they don't put, put post their nutrition information. Not, not a huge deal. <laughs> okay. You're making mindful qualitative choices and controlling portions, even though you, you can't, you know, you can't control or know how many calories are in something. You're making good qualitative quote unquote clean choices with good whole foods, good ingredients in a reasonable portion. Okay. And you're pulling that off just fine. If you can't track, track those meals, you can just either estimate it, you know, you can estimate it. Um, but again, the, the numbers don't lie. I mean, this is working for you. If you're, you, you gain like a pound and a half, two pounds in five, six weeks. That's a, a, a nice rate of weight gain, healthy rate of weight gain for pregnancy. So look, when you can track, definitely track. Okay, that's why that's why we're having success so far. You're tracking a lot. When you can't track, okay, like when you go to this health food store or cafe, you make a qualitative choice, which you're you're then behaviorally on the plan without technically being on the plan. Okay, um, and again, I'll go back to what I said initially. Yes, you have the meal plan template. That is just, that's just a tool and a frame of reference. Okay. If, if you can and want to follow it, you follow it on the days that you can't or don't want to, you track calories and keep protein in mind in the range that I just talked about 95 to 120 grams per day. Some days you might be a little over or a little under. Some days you might be within the range of protein. Some days you might not be, but if you're on the good side of, 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 of doing the right stuff there, you're going to 
continue to have success for your stated and unique goals during pregnancy. Okay. Um, and, and again, it, it's really, don't look at this as if I don't follow PJ's meal plan template with all these foods perfectly, I'm failing at my nutrition. You're not. Okay. Nutrition comes down to the right energy balance for the goal and basically having protein within a range. The rest of it does not matter. Meal frequency doesn't matter. Carbs versus fat do not matter, etc. cetera. Okay. Um, don't feel like, well, you know, I have this coach and he gave me this very regimented meal plan template. I'm not following all the time. I'm failing. You're not. Uh, my coach gave me this very regimented, um, structured, scheduled workout program. And, and there's, there's weeks where I'm not able to follow it perfectly. I'm failing. You're not. Maybe there's, there's days where you go to the gym and you're really run down and maybe you do half of the workout. That's better than nothing. It's still, it's still check the box as a win. All right. This is about principles and consistency versus perfection and all the minutia and getting all the minutia perfect. Okay. You are not a fat loss client. As I said, if you were, and I saw some of these numbers, I'd say, Hey, this is not adequate for you and your goals and, and your situation right now. It's more than adequate and it's really, really good. Okay. So I hope that again, eases your mind a little bit. And again, I'm not telling you to, you know, I'm not telling you to filter out, you know, other people's opinions, but I'm kind of trying to tell you, you need to filter out other people's opinions. Okay. They're not handling your program. I am. All right. So that's all I got. You need to keep your head up and stay positive. You're doing a great job. Okay. If you were reporting into me, Laura, that uh, if you checked in at 134 pounds this time, I would say you're not doing a good enough job, but we are achieving the exact goals and objectives that we talked about when we started this. We're doing that. Okay. And you should be proud of yourself. All right. Don't measure yourself in perfection. Measure yourself in doing the right stuff and doing your best more often than you don't. That's it. Once you deliver and you, you, you want to go into fat loss and we take off the baby weight, then the expectations change, okay? But for right now, you are executing the plan in a way that is allowing you to achieve the specific goals at this time. No more, no less, all right? That's all I got. Have a good Sunday. If you have any thoughts for me, let me know. Thanks.